What's up, Taurus? Welcome to your March singles reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys, if you haven't been to one of my singles readings before, they are the shortest readings that I do. What I do is pull two different energies that you could be dealing with during this time period. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. All right, Taurus. First person you could be dealing with, potentially an Aries or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this could be someone that you've already dealt with wanting a second chance with you. Doesn't have to be, but this person is going to want to jump right in. You know, no question. They're going to be kind of feeling like they... They don't really care what the outcome is going to be. They're just ready to do the thing, right? Um, this could obviously be somebody from your past that wants a second chance. Um, but the way that you two interact, it's a very intelligent connection. Like you guys are attracted to each other's minds. They're well-spoken. They could be a writer. They could be someone in public speaking. Um, Either way, let's see. Let's get some more on this. Oh, yeah. They're looking for long-term commitment. Um, and they're not, so they're kind of contradictory. Their normal personality is not to jump right into anything. They're very logic-minded. Um, but when it comes to you, they're being different. Like they're ready to take a risk that they normally wouldn't take. Yeah, because they look at you as, as their happiness. Like, and I don't mean that like they're trying to fill a void, like they're not happy on their own. They are, um, but they look at you as like, this is what would make my entire life, <laughs> you know? All right, so how do you feel about this person? How will you feel about this person? You feel like it could work. You feel like you're going to have to invest in it. You feel like you want to, though. Like, you don't feel like this is something that could happen overnight, whereas they might be ready to just go for it right now. You might look at it as, okay, yeah, we can do this, but we need to kind of just slow it down a little bit and invest in the connection and see what happens. All right, what is the outcome should you choose to deal with this person? Well, building together. Um, this could be somebody that like you have something in common with, like a talent that you're good at and you guys could kind of make something happen with that together. Oh, what? All right, so there's some being closed off emotionally here. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, probably you, that's what it looks like to me, is kind of feels like this connection might like take away their independence and somebody might just decide to be single. Um, either way, I think that you two make really good partners, like a, a really good team. If this is something where you have like a shared talent, it's something where you could collaborate with them and make money. So there's that. Um, all right, next person, potentially fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this person, I, I don't know, they're not in a very healthy headspace. Um, they've got anxiety, depression issues here. They've got some kind of emotional things happening. Um, they could be in recovery for something. They're very attractive, very attractive, very into you physically. If you have social media, they're already stalking it. Um, but they're very stressed over it. Like, oh my gosh. They could have recently gone through a breakup with like a really significant connection, like a whole marriage or living together situation. Um, and it they're not recovered from it yet. Yeah, I think that this connection here, this person is really just um, physical, 
there's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot taking off really quick. And this looks to me like an online connection, um, but doesn't look to be anything more than physical on their end because they've just got too many emotional issues happening. All right, so how do you feel about this person? How will you feel about this person? You feel like you're going to keep trying? This could be somebody that you've been trying with for a while and you're just, you're still going, not ready to give up yet, but almost. All right, what is the outcome? Should you choose to deal with this person? What is the outcome? Oh, wow. Okay, four of wands, 11, 11, settling down. I don't know how you get to that point with this person, but we'll see. Um, they're going to have to really do some inner work to be able to settle down and be healthy. Eight of Wands again. So much sex with this person. Holy hell. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Um, I mean, the outcome looks good. I don't know how you go from getting to them to from like this sad distraught place to actually settling down and being stable but somehow if you just keep persisting it looks like it'll happen <laughs> that's what you want all right guys thank you so much for being here i greatly appreciate all of you